Hi there. Welcome to another installment of Luke's Garage. Um, today we're going to have a quick look at the RFID um, implant uh, I've got in my hands and just talk about that along with the, um, the actual modification it's for, which is the Triumph Bonneville keyless ignition that I did uh, a little project on. Now, this is my right hand, and as you can see, it's a fairly normal right hand. I can move it, I can do stuff with it. Um, and in this hand, I've put an RFID chip in this little patch of skin. It's a 125 megahertz RFID chip, um, and it's programmed to start my bike. Now, the first question I'm always asked is, what happens if I sell my bike, um, or if I crash my bike, or I get rid of it, whichever and what way? Well, it's quite easy. The RFID chip can stay in my hand, and I could either get a new um, uh, bike and program a new bike to it, or I could, I guess, take it out. Um, but at the end of the day, realistically, if I get rid of my bike, um, which isn't going to happen anytime soon, um, and change bike, I can program the chip to a new bike or a bike to the chip. Uh, it's not a case of this one chip will only start my one bike. Um, it's the reader which is programmed to read this particular chip. And I can have um, you know, multiple readers just to read this chip. So technically, it's got a lot more uses than just starting the, the motorcycle. Um, now, as you can see, or as you can't see, you can't really see the RFID chip in my hand um, until I tense it. So if I tense the skin, you can see this little white bar appears. And that's where the chip is. You can't actually see the puncture marks or the input marks. It was just a bit over here somewhere. Um, I can't really make it out. I don't scar particularly easily. Um, but it went in there just by pulling the skin and sticking a, needle, a very big needle into my hand and so on and so forth. Um, now, importantly, it's not going to move around my hand. So you're not going to find it up here. You're not going to find it down here or in the fingers. It's going to stay roughly in this pocket. Um, for various reasons. This is a little bit of skin where it's, although there's muscle underneath it, it's essentially just loose um, loose skin. Um, it doesn't hurt at all. I mean, you press it really hard. You can feel it moving. It's got, you know, you can feel a little bar there. And if you tense it, you can wiggle in up and down either side, but by no means does it hurt. It was a little bit tender when I did the uh, project. I mean, for a couple of days, it, it, um, it didn't bleed, uh, but it, it, it was sort of holding power tools, especially when you were, you know, really jamming them in, because it does push the chip just a little bit up, up there, you know. Um, but to be honest, the pain went real quickly, and you know that wasn't really a big issue. Um, so it's not going to move. It doesn't hurt. Um, the next question I have quite a lot of is: Is it going to set off um, store alarms where they've got you know the little RFID chips on clothes and so far it hasn't. Um, I believe that stores use a different uh, uh, frequency of RFID and as a result it's not going to set those off, which is you know good. Um, and the next one was airports. Uh, is it going to go nuts every time I walk through an airport? Again, I've flown I think five or six times now since um, it was put in about two or three months ago and I've not once set off an airport alarm. Um, realistically, uh, an airport alarm is looking for probably large amounts of metal or God knows what else. Um, I have been for a, a body scanner as well um, and had no issues there. Um, realistically, the range on this RFID chip is probably in the range of, I don't know, two to five centimetres maximum. Um, when I'm starting the bike, I mean, bear in mind I'll be wearing gloves. Uh, I've got it underneath a side panel and there's a bit of a gap. I you know, need to bring my it will end up at that sort of range of the bike and it will still start and detect the chip. Um, the next question I get asked a lot is why did I do it? Um, don't know, just kind of felt like it. Um, won't be losing my key again. Um, you know, at the end of the day, it's not really that bad. Yeah, it could get infected, but I've had bits of metal and lead stuck in my hands before. Uh, for a lot longer than, uh, well, for many years, and they've never once been rejected by the body or caused me any ill effect. So having a surgically clean, tiny little glass tube there with a small amount of electronics in it really isn't that big an issue, if you ask me. Um, I guess the next question um, a lot of people ask as well is, would I do it again? 
I have to say, absolutely. Um, not only is it quite a fun little mod to have on a motorcycle, um, I'm planning on working into things like a garage door project where I'll be able to access and lock my garage door just by waving my hand in front of it um, going forwards. Um, that's quite a useful little thing, but you know, it could also technically work with photocopiers or God knows what else if you wanted to program it up. Um, I say it doesn't hurt, I have no pain from it, no real regrets, and I think it's something which is a little bit different and for a select few, um, it's quite an interesting mod. Um, probably isn't for everyone, some people don't like needles that much, some people just think it's stupid, but at the end of the day, you know, you get a tattoo, it's no worse than that. Um, I'm not saying tattoos are bad there, but you know, it's, it's only a, a chip in the hand. It's not really a big deal if you ask me. Anyway, I think that concludes most of the questions that I've been asked so far. Um, I will follow up if anyone wants to ask any more, uh, but to be honest, um, I think that covers most of it. Thanks for watching, have a good night.